Sometimes you don't need enemies for a relatable hunt showdown experience. <laughs> Would you believe me that just a minute earlier I wiped an aggressive trio that was pushing me with a crossbow and a new army? Holy f I got them. <laughs> so I've teamed up with a crossbow and I'm planning to focus on this weapon for quite a while. And on my first day of that decision, I queued up for some solo versus trios to get a feeling for this beast of a weapon. Guess what? I actually enjoyed it. In my opinion, the crossbow demands a lot of a hunter. You need to cope with that long AF reload while staying on the move and ideally be running away and pushing aggressively at the same time. Of course, these might read as the general instructions for good fights in Hunt Showdown. But still, with a crossbow in hands, it feels somewhat extra intense. So for today, I want to share some of these spicy moments with you, but not just the gameplay and the kills of course. I will combine my comments while playing with some extra insights from rewatching these clips in my video editor. Whenever I run the crossbow, my playstyle usually ends up in a combination of Red, Guerrilla and Fool. But somehow this is what is so special about my Hunt Showdown experience. And when it pays off, you feel like winning the lottery. Not that I knew how that would feel. Okay, let's dive in. So this was actually my first round of the day. And you might ask, why would I put something like that in a video? Well, just to make one thing clear, this happens to everybody frequently try to at least learn something from that for example don't crouch in the open just to find a missing bolt thank you never okay now to the juicy stuff in this one i'm coming from nickel's prison and still think the boss would be in lawson there's always someone camping just expect them and suddenly i hear someone at sweet bell Not very successful, but still, I tried to crossbow snipe the lady. Some people will realize, some don't. And I can hear the spider in Sweetbell. But even more important, there are steps towards the big tower. Wait, 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 tower. Did you hear that? Spiders in there. Let's get lost. Is that on me? Don't think so. After they are shooting each other, I try my luck as a sniper again. But um, all I was able to do was making the tower guy aware of me. So my new strategy is to change sides of Sweetbill and get into lethal range. Oh, another chance for a snipe. Stupid me. But at least I'm approaching. And I don't want to bore you, so let's cut to the first real action. The altar starts to give me away. Missing again. But hey, you gotta start somewhere. We will get better soon, you'll see. Notice me playing inside and outside the bush? Almost as I would try to make them follow me to leave their safe spot. Some decoys for the confusion. Super valuable as a solo rat. Yellow barrel confusion. Oops. 
almost effed it up here. Let's see who's still in there. <laughs> Holy fuck. How the hell did I see them? Well, I kind of didn't. I heard them and got some very small hints through that rack there. It took me a while to realize that I was the only one left. GG everybody. Very standard situation at Ironworks. They vanished, sit inside, don't make any move. So you either wait until they leave, which can take up to 40 minutes, or you try to find a way inside. Today, the Santa mode. This is just a very short one, but I wanted to point out some mistakes. But watch it first. How to improve. Take the rack shot beforehand. Don't cook the dynamite, but use the fuse to get on that chimney fast. Drop down with the explosion to conceal your fall damage. This way you could even let the rack shot work while waiting down inside. Good lucky shot bolt there. Don't reload. Switch to your sidearm and take another shot. Too much distance for melee charge. Okay, that's it. Off to the next one. In this match we spawn at Slaughterhouse, but that doesn't matter too much. We pick up the clue and proceed to Devant. See? Even though we arrive pretty late, there's a team just passing through. They might have spawned at Cyprus. I try to be sneaky and get into lethal range. I just wanted to place a little trap when the altar starts to scream. Not much time to go anywhere, gotta pick the fight here. Kill, retreat a little bit, hold the angle. And now I see the lamp and try to put some pressure on them. But there's a well-timed choke together with what I think a wax dynamite. And a fast dress. Not much I could do there. So I sneak away to find another angle. Because if they push now, I'm effed. I set some cheeky traps, but they don't really push. I don't feel like it either. The fight falls asleep and I decide to leave that area. Let's just leave. Always remember, fight on your rules, not on theirs. So if they want you to push and you want them to push and nothing really happens, just leave. Stop wasting everybody's time. After checking the center of the map, I approach the lock by bounty fight via Alice. Healing chicken coop. I think I heard a chicken coop at healing, so maybe the other team is going for the second boss after giving up trying to find me at Davent. Still trying my luck on that sieging team on Lockbay. I managed to hit once, but waste everything else on them. Runaway time again. Catching the attention of a trio as a solo that lacks aim, which is me, is only good when you have enough cover and angles to play around. I only had one tree, so I bail. While trying to circle Lock Bay, I passed the central tower again, when suddenly a trio runs by. After realizing that the bounty runs off to the western exit, I follow the other team to Port Rica, hearing them running around, hesitant to fight the boss. Maybe because I threw a chaos a minute earlier. Elevator time. Shot ball time. Time to get to cover. For me, they are moving very unpredictable and I get confused over that. 
So, back in the building, a little warning trap at the door and see what happens next. Trying to evade the chains and I noticed that medkit here could come in handy. Oh, and a red barrel. Wonder if I could use that to my advantage. Yes, I could! If it wasn't for that freaking aim punch. Second try, but not sure if somebody died. And now it's getting a bit stressful. Oh hey, a prodigal daughter. Is it the same from Devant? We trade hits, my gun's stronger. Let's go for the world med kit real quick. She's alive already, damn. Another hit, but I didn't kill her. And now they push. I risk a bolt jump to get to the floor below. And it works. I'm kind of surprised. Now the showdown. Okay, okay, I got lucky on that daughter headshot. But I was pretty unlucky with that sack face tank. A shot bolt through the handrail. Okay, probably not too much damage. But then it still took me three fucking hits to down that monster. Okay, I'm celebrating my success a little bit and go for the spider. You know the rest from the intro. Somebody should have told me that the shockwave will come for me. No matter how many wood a woodchuck woodchuck in between. Guess the windows and the open door were a little problem. Anyways, no necro, no res, no bounty. But a good fight. And that's all that matters these days, right? Right? Up next, we got another short one. It is actually about ambushing ambushers and then getting ambushed. At first, I assume they're fighting over Alice. But see for yourself. Uh, could also be the center of the map. But it's not far from Alice, so let's see. Seems like somebody won. It could be the extra bounty. If they pick up, I'm fucked. Indeed hitting. At this point, I just lost the overview. If I've ever had one. We will find out. See that? That's a chaos, I guess. Or not. Even though a bullet just passed me, they could still be unaware of me. So I play it slow. Somebody shot directly at me. Yeah, probably not. And somehow I think it was silenced, but it wasn't. Should have shot the last bullet. You never know. Switching to shot bolts. One hit kill my fucking ass. I'm playing trios, right? Yes, I did. But you gotta take the risk sometimes, right? Uh, 
Yeah, uppercut is good, but I can't risk it. <laughs> I'm getting a headshot. But there was a silenced gun. There was a silenced gun shooting at me. The third was just an asshole trap. Okay, this one's a fun fight at Upper Desal. While the bounty team was outside chasing some other team or solo, I just thought to myself, why not hop in and surprise them when they want to pick up the bounty? I've had a tough timing because they were just returning, but I'll let that run without too much commentary. This retreat and reload basically cost me the round, to be honest. I should have stayed with the two corpses, but I didn't know that they were necroing. Should have assumed. Sadly, I missed that one. Could have turned into a win. Yeah, teabagging after playing like that is not worth any further comment, I guess. Oh, and if you missed it, he got killed another time by his mate with a shotgun. Oh, did I tell you the story of me as a rat, ratting the drowned sniper rat and her ratty sheriff friend? No? Take a seat. Uh, south of Weeping is not a good idea for a supply point to be honest. Where are the other guys? Oh, they're going over there. Hmm, I think they will have a fight there because there was something in prison. Somebody. I should say. Probably some traps around here, right? And I'm just stumbling in. Clumsy as I am. Right? Tell me. Heavy water steps. Let's take some cover.
Alone? Team? Okay. This might take a while. Let's shoot some crossbow decoys. And throw some real decoys. One hit kill my fucking ass. I don't know if they patched something with a shot bolt or if it was always that unreliable. I've heard people say even if you hit the toe it will kill. Well, I know, a lag is not a toe, but... Uh, what do I know? Guess I will focus on regular bolts now. Of course, the bounty didn't wait for me. At least, I was a pain in the ass for a sniper crew. Okay, this one is actually a full match with some commentary, but also mostly from sitting here editing this video right now. Maybe this is a very relatable hunt showdown experience again, but decide for yourself. We are spawning between Alan and Blanchett. I don't want to sit in Alan, so I run Blanchett and collect the clues. And I don't care about silence. Boom boom for the meathead. Of course I heard the crows from the west. And it doesn't take long until we hear enemy steps. No clear line of sight, so I change position. The basement seems like a good idea. I wait until I assume they wouldn't hear me opening the door. I am pretty sure she is around that ladder somewhere. Probably below. I often make the same mistake. If you hit with a crossbow, don't let them run into cover. Gladly, I remember this rule.
somehow my sound is bugged. Or it's lagging. Just weird getting shot by that marathon. I'm trying to deny the reses by all means. Don't know if it helped though. Dogs making me nervous. Oh my god. I just realized it now. She was upstairs all the fucking time. I didn't get that in game. Just watching it now and her drop damage sound made me see. That might be the reason for the strange sound. What a confusing fight. Anyways, GG. The rest of the round, well, hunt being hunt. I run for the lockbay fight and die to a trade with a crocodile shotgun rat sitting in the white hut waiting for me. Ah! GG's. That's it for today. Leave a like and a sub if you dare to. Bye bye you.